Hi, um, this is going to be a really quick video just explaining one thing that is um, reading uh, texture data inside Unity so like getting the colors of like an image so the pixels, reading the pixels so yes, Keenan Woodall I don't know if I'm um, pronouncing that correctly but he asked me if I could do this and thank you very much for the um, request I'm more than happy to do it so um, let's get right into it so first off let's just create a script call it like render -ver, and open that just reload all I was actually doing this earlier so that's why the reload we can remove update and leave a bit of space there and um, first of all we could just create a just a flat surface of blocks so we can do for int x equals 0 x equals smaller than let's, let's do 10 for now max plus plus this would create a line of blocks so we actually need to take this put it inside of this and then just change it to y so this should create a nice flat area if we do let's just do game object dot create primitive and primitive type is cube so this will create the same kind of cube that you would get if you would go here and uh, create a cube and we actually need to make it into a variable let's just put in object and object dot Season. actually transform dot position there we go equals new vector 3 and then we got the x 0 and y so this will create something like actually we need to put it in all that's my last script there so let's track it into this game object it's just an empty game object that 0 0 0 and uh, click play and here we have a nice flat surface of blocks but that's not really what we want to do we want to actually get a height map and apply it to this so the blocks are actually on different heights depending on the image at least that's how i understand the question so we need to import the image so let's actually do texture 2d Section 2D uh, height map, and that's it. Make it public. I don't know if that is actually necessary, but let's just do it anyways. And we are going to use something called get pixels. So it's going to be color array of pixels, which is going to be equals to height map dot get pixels and this will take the starting point which is zero zero it's at the corner of the image and then the width and height so we are just going to put the image width and image height so it's that simple to get the pixels now we need to apply them to the actual not really a mesh but array of cubes so what i'm going to do is i'm going to test do this so it's going to actually create as many cubes as there are pixels in this image which is going to be bad if you are like planning on putting something like uh, 1024 uh, by 1024 image which is uh, it will just kill your unity so don't do this if you just start with a small image of course you want to create a custom mesh if you are planning on doing terrains or anything like that but this is just for testing so don't actually use this in the game this exact method but um, we're gonna do this and the position let's actually just do a color here which is the color color it's going to be equal to pixels and now we need to actually get like an index from this so we're gonna do x times height map width plus y so that's gonna turn it into an index and 
there we go. Then we can actually let's just do object dot render dot material dot color is going to be equals to color. So let's try that out. Oh yeah, there is there is no image attached to that. So now we need an image. I have a folder here with two images. This one I just put together in paint. So really simple, just white and a few darker colors. So we're gonna track that in. And one thing we need to do is actually go to advanced mode and enable read and write. Otherwise it's not gonna work, it's gonna give you an error. But just do that, hit apply and you should be good to go. So there we go, that was fairly simple. Now only thing we need to do is actually make it affect the height. And that's fairly simple. We could like um, count all the colors together and get the height value, but there is actually a really uh, simple thing here, which is just color.grayscale. It's gonna give you a float value. So that's exactly what we want. And here we go, look at that. Wasn't that simple? If we want to add like a height scale, it's possible. We can just do a floor. Let's just call it height. Let's put it one for now, and just do color the gray star times the height. And now it should be exactly the same. There we go. But if we put it like at the ten, it's gonna be of course times by ten. So. You probably noticed that I have this, I think this is 220 by 220 image, which is really large. Yes, 256 actually, 256 by 256. So this is a fairly large image and you should not try this if your computer is not that good because this will seriously break Unity. And I'm gonna just, I'm just gonna show it. So probably should not try this but I'm gonna do it anyway. So track that there. So now it's gonna create 256 by 256 cubes, which is a lot. So expect it to lag a bit. Just press play, it's gonna lag. And any second now, there we go. Oh no, this is probably not <laughs> a good idea while recording. Um, let's see if we can quit it. Yes, we, we can, I think, yes. Um, we can actually use Unity to scale it down to 64. So that's probably a better idea. There we go, that's something. Um, but yes, this actually looks kind of amazing. Just to think about it, like it really took this amount of code to create this, which is not a lot at all. This is why I like Unity a lot. But yes, this is like, if you want to import a hate map to Unity, you can actually do it on the terrain, you can actually import the thing somewhere from here. Yes, if you have a actual terrain here, you can import your height maps to the terrain. But if you want to create a custom terrain, or you need something else to import, like just get the pixels for some reason, this is how you do it. So it's really simple, really easy. And yeah, I hope this was what you needed, the guy who commented and requested this. But yes, I think this is about it. I'm probably gonna do a video on custom meshes soon. So if you wanna create a custom terrain, look look forward to that. And I guess, yeah, this that's about it. So, bye.